Skills Show is an absolutely inspirational event and nobody can walk through that room and not feel the vibe and excitement of what's on offer. You know what, as kids, I certainly didn't know what I was going to do. I needed inspiration. And here they can come, look at all the different occupation skills, have a go, and then go away and think about it. I think the Skills Show is absolutely superb because it gives so many visitors, inquiring minds, inspiration and ideas about what they may do in the future. We're not just talking to them about careers, we're not talking to them in theory about these are the kinds of jobs and careers you might want to do. They're actually experiencing it. We've got 250 colleges who are engaged in the Skills Show one way or another and that's really showing the range of courses and preparation and development that colleges as a whole can provide for young people. So young people really understand what it is that colleges have to offer. For further education colleges, this is the biggest showcase opportunity for our core business and our core business of course is delivering learning particularly around the practical and technical routes. We've got a lot of our pupils who are looking to experience and take part in lots of different uh, careers and look at their options for post 16, post 18 and this is a really one stop shop for them. The six teenagers that I've brought were very excited about today. I feel it's important for them to get out of their school, out of their youth centre and actually explore careers advice in a different context. Today they can see it, today they can feel it, today they can talk to me. Well I've brought my youngest son uh, Ellis along because he's looking to be an architect but we're looking at different progression routes that he could enter, whether that's her apprenticeships, colleges, rather than going on the traditional university route. We're just here to uh, see what other different job that exists, you know, for my son, you know, and my daughter and see if he's interested in anything particular. Just looking around the stands and just seeing everything that everyone actually does. It's really interesting. It's obviously nice that it have helped to say, here's what you need to do and this is what you need to get in school. So it's a nice, it's a nice experience so far. There are so many young people, many of them who we see here today, for whom an academic future isn't really what they want. And they want to get their hands dirty, literally want to get their hands dirty. They want to learn by doing. And, and I think we just need to learn as a country to celebrate that just as much as we've always celebrated academic excellence. Just this year, we've got 220 events across the whole of the UK where we're taking the Skills Show experience and we're providing that locally. We can reach more young people who can't get to the NEC, more schools, more parents, but we can also get the local employers involved. So it's about real careers and real jobs that are available in their locality. You know, the local colleges will be their real training that's available for young people locally. My highlight of the show would be our initiative around Swipe to Like. So actually what we're doing is we're signposting people to opportunities post show. So they've had the chance to come along and um, to have a go at something, to be inspired by competitors to receive some independent careers advice and to swipe to say I want to find out more information about that and that's the kind of longer term ambition. Can you think of another way in which you can potentially contact 100,000 young people and inspire them to come and work for you? I don't think you can, it's absolutely brilliant. What we're doing here is showcasing really what the further education sector has to offer. It has to offer to employers, has to offer to young people, has to offer to schools, has to offer in the way of careers advice and guidance. The colleges have a really central role. They're absolutely crucial as part of the kind of makeup and infrastructure of the whole vocational skills agenda.